Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up to Broker Up with Mark, episode number 10. Well, today I want to talk about three things, and two of them are don'ts, and one of them is a do. So the first thing is don't negotiate with the co-op. What does that mean, don't negotiate with the co-op? It means that if you're representing a buyer and the buyer wants to submit an amendment to address concerns, don't negotiate it first with the co-op. Write it up and submit it to the seller. Oftentimes we negotiate with the co-op, whether we're representing the buyer or the seller, and we talk people out of doing things. For, for instance, if you're representing the buyer and you're discussing what the buyer may want or not want with the co-op, with the listing agent, the listing agent may dissuade you from presenting that to the seller saying, the seller's not gonna do that, seller's not gonna do that, seller's not gonna do that. We had a case this week where the seller said because the agents negotiated it and talked about it several days before the amendment to address concerns was submitted. And by the time the seller got it, the seller was already angry that they were even going to get something and the seller reacted accordingly. Don't negotiate with the co-op. Anytime that you've got something that either the buyer or the seller, depending on who you're representing, wants to submit, put it in an amendment and send it over to the other side. It's the best thing you can do. It's professional. It keeps things moving along. Number two, don't wait. Pay attention to time. So let's say that you're supposed to have something three days before closing and you don't follow up with it. And now we're a day from closing and you realize, oh my gosh, they didn't get the receipts and they didn't do this and they didn't finish the repairs and they didn't do any of this. You know what happened? You let the time creep up on you. Don't wait. Follow the timelines. Make sure that you have them written down. In advance of any timelines, whether you're representing buyer or seller, make sure that you're paying attention to them. You've got to do it. No last minute surprises, no middle of the thing. If they're supposed to, the buyer's supposed to submit proof of uh, mortgageability or any of those things, make sure they're done and done timely. It makes a big difference. And last is a do. Do be a professional every day, all day. And to that end, make sure that you're doing things that make you more professional, that you're of real character, that you're reliable, that you're friendly, that you're positive. Take ownership of what it is that you do. I grew up in Hapeville, Georgia, down by the airport, home of Chick-fil-A. And True and Kathy, the founder of Chick-fil-A, said, if you'll always do what others don't, you'll always have a job. So make sure that you go above and beyond for every person you represent. Your reputation will precede you, so will your character. Make sure you're doing a great job. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.